we are at Ventura College here in Ventura, California. It is the day of our showcase. We've been through a tough week. Uh, we just lost a boy this week, and uh, Samoa is going to be performing with three boys at their showcase. Dylan decided that he does not want to be a part of Samoa anymore. My son is not going up because he was in our stunt group. Because Dylan quit our team like on such short notice, we didn't have enough time to find a boy to like fill in, and he kind of left us in the dust. Even though it sucks, we're not going to let it break us. We gotta just keep moving forward, and that's the only thing that we know how to do, so we're gonna do it. Today is the first opportunity for our parents and our friends and family to see our routines for the first time. This is where we get to debut uh, our routines and it kicks off our season. This kind of sets the tone for the whole season. We are not expecting perfect routines by any stretch of the imagination. It's quite the opposite. You know, we want them to get their jitters out now. We want them to feel excited and we want them to feel the love and encouragement from all the coaches. This is my first time actually showing people a routine being on Cali Smoed for me. So I'm like really nervous and really excited. I'm feeling great. I take these types of things as practice because that's that's what it really is. Even when we go to our first competition, I want to feel this way. Just have a good time, you know, don't try to think about it too much. Parents, we also want to thank you. You are the bloodline and the pulse of this organization. Without your support throughout the years, we would not be where we are today. The showcase is extremely important. This is the setup of the season. We are going on our fourth world title and that in itself has some pressure. It's been a really tough week, emotionally, uh, physically, just, you know, mentally getting the kids on the right mindset, losing a member so close to the showcase. You know, it was, it really hurt the team morale. Dylan was in our stunt, so we're not doing anything and we're in the center, so there's gonna be a really big gap. It's crazy that that even happened because he was such a good friend, you know? And for him to just turn around and do that is just incredibly outrageous. I just, I have no words for it. It makes me feel frustrated because like we were trying so hard to make that stunt work. Like we were trying so hard that like, now we don't even get to show people that we made it work. Me and Dylan were really close. We had so many good memories and we like spent time together and it was fun. And he was honestly such an amazing friend and such an amazing teammate. And, he truly was becoming like my brother. But when he left, I think he expected Smud to break and that's not what happened at all. Smud pushed through and we became better. Stunts, T-jumps, round off. Every section as sharp as possible. Sharp mark there, let's go on this floor. I'm, I'm nervous, you know, because I know that performing one soldier down is always really hard. But at the same time, we've had the best practices this whole week. What doesn't kill us makes us stronger. That's exactly what the kids' mentality is like. They came back in the very next practice and they were even hungrier than they were before. So. All right, cool. My stunt, let's go. Get seven. One. And front. Five. Seven. Up on one. Catching it way up here and she's not even stood up. So if anything, catch it a little bit lower and then drive to the top, okay? Try it again. And come on. And one, two, three, and five. Going seven. And one, three, and five, and squeeze. Just coming in sideways. Breathe. My stud uh, is struggling. I think they're just nervous. I think the bases underneath are just getting ahead of themselves a little bit. So it's the job of the team to keep everybody calm, cool, and collective and work together at this point. We have a lot of pressure on us because all four of us are new to the team and all four of us still do not have a secure spot. So it's kind of nerve wracking going out in front of so many people. Fight for it. Keep it in the air. Turn your hands out. Give her a good platform. Come on. One, two, three, and four. We have a lot of five, veteran kids that are seven, helping the new kids four. through this process, and I think it's going to be great for them. Turn your hands up. Stop facing like that. Good. And get some water, guys. Uh, we're about to go out to perform on snow and this is a really big deal for me because I don't know how many times I'm going to get to perform on snow This is actually Jessica's last performance on the team. You know, she's going to be an alternate for the remainder of the season until something opens up. I'm really just taking in everything and cherishing every moment and making the most out of it. Listen, same old thing, different day, okay? Focus on uh, the little things. Focus on good grips, tight transitions, and per performance, okay? If you know 100% in your heart you're not gonna land it, 
water it down. When you punch, you know it's not gonna work. You throw a clean full and you squeeze your arms by your sides and you pretend you did the best thing ever. Understood? Yeah, it's been a crap week. Let's turn this around and make it a great week. I love you guys. Let's have a great performance. Anybody else wanna say anything? I love you guys. I love you guys. I'm hoping they're gonna go out there and just pull it together and really work together and have a, you know, come to Jesus in the next five minutes before they get in front of that crowd. And Smam Land 3, and one, two, three, Smam Land 3! A lot of you know what's going to happen next, so I want to introduce you to a team that has won worlds three times. This team right here has probably had one of the craziest weeks in practice, all right? So I need a lot of CA love. Make a lot of noise as we bring out Smolin. Showcase here in Ventura, and it was the most amazing routine Simone has ever put out this year. Just zero doubt. As we walked on the floor, we just had zero doubt. Threw it all out the window and knew that we we're gonna hit this routine. I'm feeling great. We did amazing. Really happy. That was the first time we went out there and showed people what we can do. It just feels amazing. Like that crowd was crazy, and this is only the showcase. This is only the beginning. It was a hard week, and for the kids to get out there and do their job, it's a true testament of their heart and how they really united as a family. It's just what these kids just went out there and did and just came together as a team and as a true unit. You know, they just proved to everyone that, again, one person doesn't make a team. If he wouldn't have left, we wouldn't have had this fire lit in our eyes and we wouldn't have become the strong family that we have ever since he left. You guys, listen, I just want to tell you that I only cry for two reasons and that's when I'm really sad and when I'm really emotional. And before the routine even started, I looked at Eddie and I was already crying. He's like, why are you crying? I said, I'm just, I'm really overwhelmed, you know? These kids have gone through a lot this, this week and I'm really proud of them for, for standing up and, and doing what they did. And not just your performance, but just keeping it together and being professionals and getting out there and, and saying one person doesn't make us or break us. And your performance today was just legit. And I'm really, really proud of you guys. Just enjoy this moment and just shh, just know tomorrow for the next three weeks, balls to the wall and our first performance is going to be even better. So I love you guys. I'm feeling emotionally overwhelmed. I'm feeling like the proudest coach. You know, this whole week has just been low after low and blow after blow. Thank you for the obstacles because I know that it's just making us stronger. We love you and I thank you for all these great kids and their wonderful coaches. In Jesus name, amen. amen. You know, you can take 20 of the best individuals in the country. One, two, three, family! It doesn't mean that they're going to be a team. It doesn't mean they're going to work together. It doesn't mean that they're going to be able to produce. But just the bond that they have now and just the coming together and realizing what is important and why they're here, a coach can ask for anything more. Hey guys, it's Lauren and Peyton. If you thought we had it hard being coached by Eddie Norby on Smoen, then make sure you check out Chew Have Season 2. Hey guys, thanks for watching the episode of Cheerleaders, but don't forget to subscribe right here on Awesomeness TV.